Right guys, I'm going to do a video on crypto gaming and a lot of you aren't going to like what I'm about to say but it is what it is. I'm a massive gamer, I've been a gamer since I was like 14, I've had every console, you know, RTS, FPS, um, I play it all and um, I just think a lot of retail are coming into the market not understanding what happened last cycle, what happened to gaming tokens and I think it's really important to zoom out, get out of the FOMO, get out of the hype and sort of really look into what's going on right now. So as you can see, Becker's just pumped, uh, just posted here, Bitcoin pumps 2%, gaming projects pump 15 to 20%. Most of them are low caps, right? So most of them are super, super low cap. So as you know, been in crypto gaming for ages. Um, so if we, if we look at my Twitter, I just actually posted. Uh, by the way, follow my Twitter if you're not following. Um, I posted here saying people ask me if I'm buying ILV. Already got the T-shirt last cycle. On to the next, right? Um, so as you can see here, this is this is from my trading group. I was trading before I had a YouTube channel, right? So I had like a Facebook trading group, and I've I've put in here just sold fifty percent of my Alluvium ILV. But please remember, I got in at eighty dollars. It's now twelve hundred. So this was last bull run when Alluvium went on a crazy run. Um, so I'm taking I'm taking some profits. This doesn't mean it's not going to pump. I'm just making sure I have profits to take. So um, so I'm sure so I'm stacked for the bear market, right? So I have tokens for the bear market. Um, so what what I mean by this is basically cryptos go in bull runs, right? They have their own bull runs. And last cycle we had a crypto game in bull run we'd never we'd never seen it before you know there was no there was no crypto game in bull run basically axie infinity came into the space and um really really set the tone set the standard we could see huge adoption on chain you know so many people were playing axie infinity a lot of kids were buying houses like some of the kids were playing buying houses from 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 just having played axie infinity early and that created like this massive fomo and it was it was really starting to spread across third world countries really where people people you know were sort of the, the word was spreading that you could play a computer game on chain and you could buy a house like when that sort of FOMO starts spreading, you know, it, it, it grows quick. People in, in um, the Philippines were quitting their jobs and playing Axie Infinity full time as a job, as a career. Um, and that was kind of the top and downfall for, for crypto gaming. A lot of people were getting into it for the wrong reasons. They weren't getting into it because it was fun. They were trying to make money and then they were selling their tokens, selling the tokens. It became a job, you know, how many tokens can I get to dump? And then obviously this system play to earn which we'll go into later cannot work people are coming in to sell to sell to sell they're not coming in to play and have fun and to accumulate so that was a massive problem um so what i'm trying to say there is it's not the same cycle as it was back then the cycle is completely different right um and now this is where we got into alluvium um you know you buy in you buy in the bear market when things are going sideways you sell in the bull run um i think you can see on one of the comments there someone replied yeah, pointless me selling now as I brought in a lot higher, gonna ride it out. And and you rode it out from $1,200 down to 40. It might have even hit $35. So a, a famous uh, saying is pigs, pigs get slaughtered, right? So when you're in this phase of euphoria and, and you think you've brought in quite high, it can go down 95% from, from here, right? So um, always take profits in a bull run, guys. Always sell, always take profits, whether you DCA out. You know, I only sold 50% here. I wish I sold 100%, but at least I sold 50% of, of the alluvium. So going into this cycle, I will be selling. I, I'm not here for the tech. I'm here to make money. Um, and um, But I don't, I'm not going to be buying individual games. I've done this last cycle. What am I buying? I've been buying Casper. I've been buying Teo. Things that are going into their brand, a brand new bull run. Um, and Casper's now up like 27x since we first started buying. Teo's pumping again today. Like we're up over 100% on that. New, new, what's trending this cycle is AI. AI is trending massively and we don't have that Bitcoin of AI yet. We don't have that alluvium of AI. So I'm going to sort of focus my money on a, on a brand new bull run. Something that hasn't run before. And if, if we look at Alex Becker, a lot of the tokens, this is from one of his videos about a year ago or so, a lot of the tokens he's posting here are here. Engine, absolute horror scene. Look, 
absolutely melted, crashed completely. Um, if we look at Sandbox, Horacine, top top price was eight dollars, no seven dollars. Price today forty cents. So it's a twenty x from its all time high. Not only that, we're in the start of a bull run. Like you would have made more money buying Bitcoin than you would have buying Sandbox. Like that's embarrassing. You'd have been a you'd have been in in huge profits buying Bitcoin compared to Sandbox, right? It's just been going down and down and down, whilst the market's been going up. Um, same scene, Decentraland, horror scene, same story again. Uh, topped out at five dollars, currently sitting at forty cents. Not really recovering. Axie Infinity, disgusting, absolutely disgusting. A hundred and forty six down to six dollars. Um, that is that is insane. Um, so what you've got to remember here is in the Axie Infinity pump, this is like when we were buying in the hype phase, right? This this was the start of crypto gaming. Not only that, every influencer was talking about it. There was videos all over YouTube that said how this kid uh, brought his house playing Axie Infinity. There was a large percentage of the Philippines actually playing it. The government had to get involved because kids were actually dropping out of jobs and saying, I'm just going to play computer games for a living. It was wild, right? And a lot of people, a lot of retail were aping into these these tokens. And they unfortunately got wrecked. And most of them would have been buying around here, around the top, coming all the way down. And then when you get to this phase, you, you get the hopium phase where, oh, it's going to come back. It's just a pullback. And then obviously just pure, pure depression, PTSD. So many people have, would have lost money. Even, you know, smart money investors would have lost some money here. Those that sort of held on to it. Not everyone. Most of it would have been retail, right? And then you get the, the hopium that it's going to come back, it's going to come back, it's going to come back, and then obviously it never does. Now, this happened time and time again. If we look at Steppen, absolute horror scene. Uh, Gala, absolute horror scene. I lost a lot of money in Gala. I, I actually did think it was going to come back, and then the founders started suing each other. Um, and when founders start suing each other, guys, I'm out. It's just, it's not a bad, it's not a good situation to be in. And it, the court cases go on forever. And then if the news comes out that it was actually true, um, you know, the founders were skimming off the top, which, you know, is crypto gaming. I wouldn't be too surprised if they were skimming off the top. Um, it's just not something I want to invest in. There's 7,000 altcoins. Why would you invest in one that's going for a court case? And I said the same thing with XRP last cycle. Why are you holding XRP when it's going for a court case and, and, and it's been going sideways for three or four or five, six years? Um, you know, clearly we can see on chain where the money's going. Follow the smart money. Same case with Sidus absolutely absolute horror scene you know i would never invest in a crypto game again look at this i mean we've zoomed in on on alluvium here alluvium just had this pump don't forget it's already pumped like this and it came straight back down i don't think this is going to last very long this pump i think alluvium is going to have a massive massive correction because the reason i got into ilv here i got into ilv around here and it pumped and pumped and pumped right and then i sold around here uh, 1200 i didn't sell the top i thought it was going to 4000 um i sold around here around 1200 and um, look, it just completely crashed. And the reason I got in here is the team tokens were locked. The team said, look, we're in this for the long run. This isn't a joke. Um, we're going to lock our, just to prove how uh, sincere we are, we're going to lock our tokens for two years. And that's when I went in pretty heavy. And well, it was pretty heavy for me back then. I didn't have as much as I have now to invest. Like back then I was investing with like 100s, 200s. Uh, I put a, quite a lot. It was a lot at the time, about 500 into Alluvium. Obviously, now I'm putting 2,000s, 3,000s in because I've gone for a new cycle. I've made some money. I've, I have more money to invest. Um, so, yeah, made, made a lot for back then, made a lot of money and um, just completely, completely melted. But as I said, you got to remember on the news channels back then, you had crypt, you know, crypto gaming to the new revolution. It's going to take over the world. It's going to be the main adoption for, for, for crypto gaming. And it kind of feels like that when you're in the moment, right? You're in this bubble and it's hard to see that you're in a bubble when you're actually in it. Same with NFTs. NFT was the same kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm not investing in individual games. I've been there. I've made the gains. I sold, and now I'm looking for the next. What this crypto gaming is a bubble. What's the next bubble? Is it going to be AI? You know, what is the next bubble going to be? We're still seeing layer ones performing absolutely um, 
you know brilliantly over the last few years with Casper and stuff. So we still don't have a, 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 a solution for this blockchain mess of Ethereum. It's slow. It costs money. Um, so I still think we're going to see L1s perform. But uh, what's the next bubble? You know what? What's the next bubble going to be? Um, we Star Atlas, absolute horror scene. Never invest. I would never invest in any of these crypto gamers. Again, this is not financial advice, right? This is just my opinion. Um, could I be wrong? Absolutely. Um, always do your own research. D race horror scene. Whilst whilst things have been going up, like whilst Casper has been doing a twenty seven x, look what these gaming tokens have been doing. Absolutely nothing at all. Whilst Render has been pumping six seven hundred percent. What have these tokens been doing? Absolutely nothing. Altura, same price I brought Altura three years ago. You know, this is the same price. I bought Altura around here, around 2021, September, and it's the same price. It's just literally done nothing over the last three years. Um, so, yeah, guys, I am uh, not investing in any individual games, okay? So that doesn't mean I'm not investing in ecosystems, which we'll get onto. I am buying ecosystems. So one of the main reasons is the play-to-earn scheme, okay? So this basically attracts lots of retail users. My drawing is absolutely shocking. So the play-to-earn scheme brings in lots of retail users, right? They see... They don't know anything about crypto. They love gaming and they see on the news that they can uh, make money playing uh, crypto games, right? So they come flooding into to the space. They see, uh, let's say, ILV. Okay, so they see ILV and um, they start playing, right? And then they, they tell their friends, they tell their friends. Before you know it, you have hundreds of thousands of people coming into ILV and they are earning ILV as a reward, right? They're, they're making ILV um, or, or any alternative token. Then they start selling that token. They start selling that on the market, okay? Now, this isn't just ILV. I know all the different games have different ecosystems, but this is roughly how Play to Earn works. They start selling ILV, and then before you know it, most of the people playing the game are selling ILV to make profit they're not playing for fun they're coming to make money and then new users come in new users come in especially from third world countries where where five pound a day might be a lot right I, you know i've been to bali and in bali they earn around five pound a day it's a huge amount of money to them it might not be a lot for us but it's a huge amount of money to them and then before you know it you have a massive ecosystem of people coming in earning money from gaming tokens um, uh, to make a living, right, to, to, to go and buy. So they're not investing for the long term. They're not investors. They're not coming in to buy ILV, to buy the in-game items. So they're not coming to buy the NFTs. Um, they're not coming to upgrade their characters, right, which is where... Um, you know, a lot of a lot of Fortnite players spend money in Fortnite because they like new skins. They want to have the new feature. They want to have this. Those are what we really need to attract. We need to attract real gamers, and I think that's missing from crypto gaming space. Well, definitely was last cycle. We need to attract real gamers who want to play for fun. Okay, so um, gamers who just want to play for fun, they don't mind buying some skins, um, and if they can earn some passive income from playing, it's a bonus. But it's not the fundamental reason that they're playing the game for, right? So I think that whole play to earn model is very tricky. It's very difficult. I'm not saying there's not a solution. I'm just saying, guys, look what happened. Sidus, um, Alluvium, um, Star Atlas, time and time again. There's t show me a crypto game that made it. Show me one crypto game that, that made it. Um, so yeah, that is a huge problem. Okay, so then you have the cycle PTSD. So this is very, very huge, right? So here we had... The start of crypto gaming, right? And this is where I'm interested in. Guys, I put in the in the group, guys, something's happening here. We've got some momentum. There is a crypto gaming narrative building. I think this could be special. Here's the reasons I think this could be special. It's new. We've not seen it before. Um, it's, it's, it's something where people can ha have fun and make money at the same time playing computer games. I think we're going to have a massive, uh, um, you know, a narrative. So I bought Alluvium, right? And then what happened? Um, we went into a massive bull run. Everyone started getting in. It's all over YouTube. The YouTubers start shilling it. Oh my God, I made 4,000 this week playing Axie Infinity. I made four week, 
for fowls in this week playing alluvium. This spreads across the globe and then creates the ultimate Ponzi scheme. Okay, the ultimate, ultimate Ponzi scheme where everyone who brought in early is making 10, 20, 30, 100, 1,000 X and people end up being able to buy houses with their, their, their game, right? The guys that we saw playing Axie Infinity are buying houses um, from playing a computer game. This is usually the top. If you see kids, um, you know, buying houses from playing a computer game, this is usually the top because it's not sustainable, right? Not everyone can make 4,000 a week playing a computer game. We might see that again this cycle. I hope so, you know, for those that um, lost a lot of money in the crypto gaming tokens, you know, I hope you make your money back. Um, then we come into this collapse, okay? So everyone starts taking profit. The, 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 the rewards become less and less. So the game companies can pay less in rewards. User adoption drops. Before you know it, the third world countries will, are not making the money they used to and it's not really worth them playing the games anymore. User adoption drops, 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 drops. And then you go into this horrendous bear market. So this is where we are. This is where we are now, right? We're, we're in this horrendous bear market. Things have started to pump other tokens have started to pump here, like Casper, like Render, like Solana. Uh, but crypto gaming is still in this crap phase. We have a lot of YouTubers and a lot of influencers who bought, who are holding the token right to, to the bottom and their bags are horrendous. Their bags are down like 98%. So they want crypto gaming to go back up. We have a lot of retail that were buying here. They would have, you know, they would have been buying the tops. They also want their crypto bags to go back up, right? So a lot of people are still holding down here who want a crypto bull run. And what I think, this is just my speculation, what I think is going to happen is we are going to get a crypto gaming bull run, but it's not going to be anywhere near the size of the first crypto bull run that we had with Alluvium, right? We brought down here, we made like a 20x on Alluvium. It's a huge amount of money. I saw people who made like millions and millions um, from, from, from uh, putting decent sized bags in. The first time round is always the best. The first time round is, is, is always the best. And then I think we're not going to reach anywhere near the all-time highs that we reached previous cycle. I think we're going to get up here. A lot of people have PTSD. This is a serious thing in crypto. They have PTSD. They, they had 10K in ILV. They watched it go down to probably $500, right? They had 10K, they watched it go down to 500. They have PTSD. Uh, this, that, then the market pumps back up to where their initial buy-in was, right? So they, they get back to 10K USD and they start to think, God, I'm back to my 10K, man. I've, 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 I've not made a loss anymore. This is so good. You know what? I'm just going to play it safe and I'm going to exit. Influencers start to see, do the same. Everyone starts to do the same. And then we have this really feeble ball run for the gaming sector. Like Dash, this is a classic case of that, right? So if you look at Dash, first inception, huge ball run. Privacy is going to be huge and just off the charts ball run. Um, then there's the bear market where we are now with the crypto gaming bear market and then the bull run comes and you have this feeble feeble run where dash didn't even achieve so it reached 1230 uh, sorry 1283 the following bull run it reached what $300 it didn't even reach 40% of the the bull run it had previously what happens here you probably won't see another bull run for for this token, right? And if you do, it's going to be it's going to be even worse than the previous bull cycle here. So I think this is exactly what we're going to see for crypto gaming. Picture this as alluvium, first cycle, bear market, hype cycle. People try to pump and dump the token. People try to flip some hundred percent here, some four hundred percent here, and then you have a massive dump. I think this is going to happen for individual gaming tokens, right? Not not ecosystems. I think this is going to happen for individual gaming tokens. Um, so yeah, if I mean, if one token does pump, it's going to be. I think it's going to be a Luvin, partly because it's a good game. There's, they've been working on it for ages. The t problem is with Alluvium is the team, you know, I bought because the team locked their tokens and they couldn't sell. Now they're unlocked and they need to get paid. They had a massive team working on Alluvium for years. And, um, you know, why shouldn't they get paid? You know, they've, they've worked really hard on the game and it does look really good. So they deserve to get paid, but you're now going to have added sell pressure from that, right? You're going to have sell pressure from the Alluvium team um, because their tokens are unlocked. So, 
yeah, I look as you know, guys. I'm not I'm not completely bearish on crypto gaming. I love gaming. I love crypto gaming. I think we're going to see some really good gems. I'm really just waiting for that eco uh, that one game to pop up on an ecosystem, right? So I posted this video about IMX. Uh, only 90 views um, one month ago, and you can see here um, if we look back through the video, um, I posted it in my Discord. Uh, by the way, if you're not in the Discord, uh, jump in there, guys. Um, we, we're absolutely making a killing. Um, so I posted in my Discord, wow, Arrington XRP Capital just put $10 million into IMX. So we're smart money crypto on this channel, right? We follow the smart money. That's how we are making the gains. And here you can see a venture capitalist, quite a big one, put $10 million. Now, they don't just put $10 million into anything, right? It's for a reason. They know something's coming. Maybe there's a huge partnership come in which i'll get on to because a huge partnership did actually come shortly after this maybe there's a huge partnership come in maybe they signed a deal with coinbase maybe they're doing this or that but the smart money tend to get in before big news breaks out um and to put 10 million in is huge confidence no one is putting 10 million into a coin unless they're very certain that that's going to make a return or there's some good news coming so that was, if we look at the price, um, I posted that around, the price was there, um, 50, 55, around 55 cents or so. And then obviously if we look at Alluvium now, Sorry, not Alluvium. Uh, if we look at IMX now, uh, it's around a it's around one dollar forty. So you're nearly up two hundred percent on that um, from the time I bought that. Now, this the thing I like about buying IMX. Um, the market cap's one point eight, nearly one point eight billion. The volume is ninety six million. This is institutional type investment. This is an in institutional type project. Um, it's down not not a huge amount. I mean, it's down like from from its all-time highs quite a bit but it didn't really have that much of a bull run right it kind of launched late and it didn't really have that much of a bull run and now we're starting to see some adoption the thing i like about this is it's an ecosystem and smart money are buying the project up it's an ecosystem means it means if you buy into one of these games right and it can it can just completely melt it can completely fail if you buy into an ecosystem it only needs one game on the ecosystem to make it right so it, it they could list 20 games and one of them could be a winner right it could have it could be on xbox it could be on playstation 4 it could have mass adoption and that's absolutely huge um that would be absolutely huge for imx in the ecosystem also, institutional money are buying this, and I think more institutional money will buy this coming into the bull run because it has the liquidity there to sell, right? It has the volume. It has the liquidity. It's not like these these little tokens that we were looking at. I mean, if we look at the volume on some of these tokens, um, that's Gala. Uh, so if we look at Sidus, 3 million trading volume. You know, it's really it's really low. Avilium's, Avilium, Alluvium's not too bad. 4 million on, on Star Atlas. It's it's not the worst, but um, it's 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 not it's not what institutional money are going to invest in. Institutional money need to know if something goes wrong, am I going to be able to pull my liquidity out? Am I going to be able to pull my one million out? It's it's a lot of money they're playing with, so they tend to invest in things over a billion. So I think IMX can do really well. Um, the bot gave us a buy around fifty seven. So not only did we see the smart money buying on chain, but the bot ironically told us to buy at the same time that the smart money were getting on chain so that's why i really like this buy and sell uh, bot and trading view this comes free at the moment it's free for for all the patrons so if you're not in the patreon guys uh, don't forget jump jump in there um the, this package is sold out but we've still got spaces left for the genesis genesis squad so yeah the bot told us to buy really really bullish and as you can see here this is what i love to invest in the smart money got in and then what happened, we saw, we started to see them partner with Ubisoft. Uh, massive announcement, something to do with Assassin's Creed, which would be huge for blockchain gaming. I mean, imagine you can own and hold all your own assets in Assassin's Creed and you can sell them on a marketplace for real money. You know, you can find some real hidden uh, tools or weapons inside Assassin's Creed that could be worth tons of money. I think that's going to be absolutely massive. And I'm so happy to see that we're seeing these top, top games starting to partner with um, and these top, top gaming, Web2 gaming institutions start to partner with Immutable X. And this is what the smart money look at. This is what the smart money invest in. Who's partnering? 
with with web three web web two giants partnering with web three giants um that's what they like to to invest in so I'm, I'm i'm happy that we got in this one quite early um so yeah super bullish the other problem with crypto gaming tokens um which i've done a video on this on my top five gaming tokens uh, video so go and check that out but very very greedy sector it's a hugely greedy sector and and we see that on a lot of these these tokens that we've just gone over right and, and a lot of the sell-offs human greed is still a massive problem in crypto and especially in crypto gaming and there's a lot of hype around miria right now right this this gaming project called miria and if we look at the token distribution, I feel like a lot of people are just not even looking at the token distributions on chain. It's not a good site. I mean, look at this. These founders got in 238 days ago, right? So they were the founding wallets. 22% in one wallet, 22% in one wallet, 22% in one wallet, 11% in one wallet. This 11% is selling. In the last seven days, they've been dumping on the people buying. They are selling the token. They are dumping on retail. They are dumping on you who are buying. Um, over 80% of the supply is in a certain amount of hands and that is not a good a structure to be into that's not a good structure for a token's growth right this is why i bought casper it was a fair launch there was no ico there's not a bunch of, of people who are ready to dump and this is why it's gone on to do a 27x it's very hard for tokens like this where there's 80 percent of the supply in five people's hands because what happens when it does a 10 20x they're going to have tens if not 20s of mil 20s of millions in their wallets right and they're susceptible to greed they could dump their tokens and if you dump 22 percent it's going to be a chain reaction even if you dump 10 percent 15 percent it's an insane amount of the supply to have in a few wallets if they start selling there's going to be a chain reaction of dumps smart money start dumping everyone starts dumping so i do not like to invest in individual great gaming tokens who, that have this supply miria is an is a potential ecosystem so potentially similar i like to invest in ecosystems um uh, like gala um like imx etc obviously i'm not holding gala anymore but that's what i was investing in ecosystems um but i don't i don't like to see this does this mean miria is not going to make it absolutely not it can completely 10 20 30 x from here i'm just saying there is going to be hundreds of these projects popping up over the next six months to a year hundreds and I'm, that's no joke there will be hundreds and many won't be around in in a year or two years many will dump there'll be many rug pulls many tokens are going to rug pull we're going to see you know tokens go down 99 percent in 24 hours I just don't want to take those sort of risks um, when they've got this kind of um, holdings. And notice they've not even labeled these wallets. You know, it doesn't say Miriam Marketing. It doesn't say, you know, what the wallets are. It just says, you know, they're just, to notice how it's just Token Millionaire. It's just a fresh wallet. Um, so, yeah, real, real big red flags. I don't like to see this kind of supply. And uh, it's just sell pressure, right? That, that's just going to be sell pressure all the way up. Same thing with uh, PZB. I see a lot of people talking about this. 18% um, in one wallet, 17% in one wallet, 10% in one wallet, 10% in one wallet, 8% in one wallet. Over 80% of the supply in a few amount of wallets. Are they selling? This person has sold in the last 30 days. This person has sold in the last 30 days. This person, this account has sold in the last 30 days. Tokens are being sold. Um, sell pressure, sell pressure, sell pressure all the way up. The aim of these projects is to... Uh, is to pump and and sell the token right unfortunately that's how the setup is in a lot of crypto projects but when they have 80 percent of the supply of course it's going to pump because you know they can control the price um so a huge huge red flags guys so just be very careful about the tokens you're investing in check the supplies uh check the token distribution and um i don't think you know and, and consider what we've talked about here about the crypto gaming consider what we thought about here and you know everyone's going to be expecting it to go back to all-time highs i don't think we're going to see that guys uh, i really don't um i am bullish on imx i am bullish on gfal i am bullish on dubs those are the free gaming tokens i hold right now i am prepared i don't you know i'm prepared for them to go down in in, in value they're not they're not in my uh some of them are in my long so IMX is in my long term hold. G uh, GFAL is currently in my long term hold, and Dubs I'm kind of um, waiting to see how it plays out and seeing if they can get on some exchanges. Um, but yeah, crypto gaming um, still kind of 
kind of high risk, right? It's still kind of high risk. So play safe. And uh, guys, if you want to join the Patreon, um, we have a hundred, uh, sorry, 97 spaces left in the Genesis squad. And then after that, we are almost, uh, we're getting almost full. We've got the VIP section there. So if you want me to check into your portfolio, if you want one-to-one -one sessions on how to uh, check the smart money on chain, I can do that and um, just jump into there. Um, if you also want me to check out any of your tokens, drop them in the comments below. Uh, until then, I will catch you in the next one.